Welcome home and for today's edition of Stories from My Tree on December 7th. December 7th is Pearl Harbor Day, the day that we remember the attack on the naval bases in Hawaii at Pearl Harbor that ended up launching the United States into World War II. And uh, that's a special thing for me, and not necessarily special in, in a good way, but special because it has been part of my family's story. Both of my grandfathers fought in World War II, and I had a great uncle who was in World War II as well at the Battle of the Bulge. So today's ornament is uh, a World War II Army soldier. This is technically a G.I. Joe from the Hallmark series, but this G.I. Joe ornament uh, represents and commemorates those uh, men and women who gave so much during World War II to help fight and preserve freedom. And uh, I know that my grandparents are part of what is called the greatest generation. And when we think about what makes uh, that great, uh, some other words come to mind, words from Scripture. Words that say, greater love has no man than to lay down his life for his friends. And I think about all those who gave so much to, uh, to lay down their lives and help save and preserve freedom. I also think about how Jesus said the greatest is the one who serves. And we think about all those who are serving currently, protecting freedom, who are overseas, separated away from their families, unable to be home for Christmas. And I also think about how the greatest commandment is to love. And so today, as we venture back into stories from my tree, using this uh, G.I. Joe soldier, someone from the greatest generation, I want us to think about those great things that Christ tells us in Scripture, that love is the greatest, that the greatest is the one who serves, and no one loves more than who, someone who is willing to lay down their life for their friends. So I want to offer a special word of appreciation and thanks for those who are currently serving in our armed forces, as well as our civil servants who give so much, who put themselves in the way of harm, each and every day. And I want us to think about how we all are called to give our lives in service to our, uh, to our God and the places where God gives us to live, the people who God gives us to do life with. And I want us to think about the amount of love that it takes to be willing to lay down our lives, maybe not uh, on a battlefield, but sometimes in terms of just how we look at the world and sometimes in terms of how we can help other people know that they are important that God loves them and has a plan and a purpose for their lives. So today, as we uh, wrap up this edition of Stories from My Tree, I want to celebrate the greatest generation on this Pearl Harbor Day. And I want to think about how we also see the word greatness show up in Scripture, that greatness is someone who serves. Greatness is love, and greatness is someone who is willing to serve in such a way that they lay down their own life, their own preferences, their own desires, their own hopes, in order to love and to serve and to protect and preserve freedom and hope for all. That's what Christ did for us at Christmas. That's what we're called to do for others. So on this Pearl Harbor Day, stories from my tree, let us think about those who are called to serve this country, to appreciate them, to thank them, and as we gather around for Christmas coming up, to also hold in prayer those who are currently serving and in the fight and those families who are at home missing their loved ones. So I hope you've enjoyed this installment of Stories from My Tree, and I hope to see you tomorrow.